Hey everyone, it's now late December 2023 and we are in the Massachusetts logging forest coming to check out some beaver locations to see if we got any blockages to undo. So this is the same wilderness that the triangular great culvert is in and we're going to go ahead and visit that one too. very muddy out here this time of year. Oh, there's someone else down that one. Very muddy. Now this mud hole here, I've stopped to take a look at this before. The culvert here is actually unclogged. It's working fine. But during a flood, I think it just washed out the road there. So now that's now lowered in the culvert. In the summertime, a lot of these roads aren't open because too many vehicles, too much traffic from tourists would destroy them. But now, they're supposed to be frozen. It's actually been a very warm winter so far. These roads would usually be frozen and the mud wouldn't be there. there these gates and everything are now open for the hunting season. So we're gonna drive around a little bit and see what we can find. Most of the vehicles you'll see parked on the side of the road are probably hunting. That's what that one back there was. It looks like there might be a vehicle up ahead or is that a really big rock? We'll see in a moment. It's a rock it looks like. Yep, big rock. Oh, and there's a guy on a bike up there. So this logging forest is much different than when we're in Maine. When we're in Maine, the majority of the forest is um, balsam fir and white pine trees. Here the majority is oak, and there's a good amount of white pine mixed in too, but they're not huge. The, the logging roads here in Massachusetts are much more narrow than in Maine. So you might be noticing a lot of the oak trees, they don't look too healthy. It's because this area had an infestation of gypsy moths a couple years ago. The gypsy moths lay eggs and they'll come in swarms of millions of caterpillars defoliating the trees. And it, the trees like oak trees, they can survive that a couple years, but consecutive years will kill them off. Now the gypsy moths have a weakness, it's rain. Lots of rain, a humid year will cause fungus to grow on the hair of the caterpillar, killing them. If it's a dry year, they'll be devastating. But you have a wet year, it kills them off in such numbers, it'll take a decade for them to come back in that force again. I think there's a very muddy area coming up in just a few moments. This looks like an interesting area we're driving through. It looks like water sometimes is down in here. So this area, they rarely log it. Usually when they log it, it's for conservation reasons, if I pronounce that correctly. The water to the left is really high from the beavers. There's a good amount of ice in the road. Beavers aren't causing a problem right now. Sometimes this road is even underwater, but you see over here, there's some brand new beaver deceivers, which are they're not clogged because it would be going over the road. Yeah, the beaver clogged the culvert like they're supposed to because they'll feel accomplished, but there's a bypass pipe the beaver doesn't know about. And it seems to be working well in that situation there. So this area is rarely logged. They usually log it to make habitat. It helps the deer population, the open fields. It creates create berry bushes. It helps the bear population, other animals that like eating berries. And when you have open fields with lots of food and grazing land, it makes like deer population explode. So in this area, the hunters are allowed to come in here and manage it because some areas of the country, the deer population is so out of control. Like I was just in Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, spent a little bit of time there last week. You'll find a dead deer on the side of the road at least every five minutes. I'm not even exaggerating. You saw hundreds of them dead on the side of the highways down there. So that area, they're, the deer are actually overpopulated. Now you, you might say that's a normal population, it's the humans that kill them off, but down there, there's farms everywhere. So they have a massive food supply, so there's 
many more than there would naturally be. Now you see right here, the road is leaking lots of groundwater. To the left, that's a beaver dam right there. The beaver dam failed, if you can see that rough area right there to the left, but they patched it because the road crew dug the drainage ditch which undermined the dam and it collapsed into the road. Oh, but let me show you guys what's outside right now. So right there, the beaver dam got compromised because the guy with the excavator dug the ditch, which uh, when this porous sandy soil, I'm sure the water was going underneath, it eroded, and then the dam let go into the road. The beavers patched the dam. I don't know why they did this. They should have just raised the road up a little bit, but whatever, it's fixed. That right there is a brand new beaver lodge that was not there in the spring. You can tell it's brand new, brand new mud, and you see all the sticks surrounding it. That's the beaver's pantry for the winter. That's their food supply. The beaver just comes down into the water, grabs some sticks, brings it back up in the dam, and eats. They're pretty lazy in the winter when it freezes over. They just eat and sleep. They don't hibernate, though. The pond's about to freeze over. It's actually frozen over a good portion of it. Right here, it's moving a little bit, so not at the moment, but we're just going to pull up a little bit. These beaver deceivers, the beavers often outsmart them, but it's a constant battle right here. There's actually three of them in place. They come down here. They get uh, put together into one pipe underneath the road. Sometimes during big storms, the system can't handle it, but works out pretty good. Right here, if you can see the erosion on the edge of the road, this is where the water will cross the road, floods it out. Sometimes if I come to visit during big storms, right up the road here in a moment, you're gonna see another low spot where it crosses because the swamp is still back there. So right here is the other spot. Water will often cross the road because you can see how high the water is up to this section of road too. Same beaver swamp, same connections. Now, why don't they relocate the beavers? Because the beavers are protected in this area. This is a wildlife refuge for beavers and birds, but the deer are allowed to be hunted. All right, everyone. Now we're on a more woodsy section of the road. Not many people go down this part because it's in bad shape. I remember before I had the truck, this road intimidated me enough where I didn't go down it because it was extremely muddy and I think I could have easily bottomed out on it. But we're giving it another shot today. There's a little bit of mud at the bottom of this hill. Maybe that means there's a culvert that can't handle the flow. There's usually a culvert at the bottom of every dip where the water naturally goes. I, I can tell this sometimes gets wet. Is there a pipe there? I'm gonna look out to the left. Yeah, there's probably a pipe, but I'm not even gonna dare look at that one because there's like a hole that the water comes out at. The water comes up out of a hole. What that's telling me is the entire inside of the pipe, the majority of its diameter is probably caked with mud. So, unless the entire bottom or downhill side of that pipe was to be dredged, can't really help it too much. Now, this looks like a little bit of water might be built up to the right. So, Let's see if I can pull over enough for another vehicle can pass without getting too stuck in the mud. I can run over these little trees. All right, I'm just about off the road. That won't be long. Let's go take a little look outside. Taking a little walk outside. We can see what's up here with this pipe. This pipe looks like it may have actually been put in recent. It's got a good flow going through it. That is like a 10 inch, maybe foot piece of sewer pipe. Is it put in wrong or is it actually clogged? There's actually a little bit of clog in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Yeah, there's actually stuff in the way. Oh, yeah, we're opening it up. Look at that. There we go. That stick was really in there. Wow. Not even open yet. Now we're 100%. See, just a couple sticks get in the way and leaves pack against it and it causes a backup. Now this area, oh, it's draining. Look at all the leaves coming over. Good thing the sticks are out of the way. All those leaves will pass. 
Wow, look at the current now compared to before. Good flow going through it. That is like a 10 inch, maybe foot piece of sewer pipe. That's pretty awesome. We increased that a whole ton, but it'll be back to the way it was when we first got here in like another minute because all the water being built up is down. Look at all the leaves getting sucked through. Bunch of leaves going through. And look at this, if we zoom in back there, you got nasty foam. That's created by the water getting agitated when there's a whole bunch of rotten material in there. It can make suds. Get all the leaves going on their way. See all the leaves bunched up around all the trees. Sometimes water goes through here hard. Look how the grass is all pushed over here. Oftentimes this pipe can't handle it. Even if it was not clogged, the amount of water, the evidence that comes through here. Look at all this evidence of water just blasting across the road. That pipe is so small, there should be like a three footer to handle the evidence of what comes through here. Whole ton of it. And it looks like we're just about back down to level. Actually not yet, this current coming out of here will stop because everything's coming through there. Just about done. Just about back to normal. The water will clear up in a minute once that sediment goes away. Any dam will create sediment back up. It'll be flushed through and running clean, I'd say in about 10 minutes. All right, everyone, we're gonna start moving again. From the look of it, I'm pretty deep sunk in the mud. Uh, and I am stuck completely. Now we gotta go into four wheel drive. Right on out. Four wheel drive helps a lot. Back into two wheel drive and we're ready to keep going. This road's pretty muddy. Here's another spot. You can tell water sometimes goes over the road. Does not appear to be backed up. Nope, I'm not seeing any backup. But it appears that water sometimes goes over the road because the pipes are severely undersized. This road's nice. We're getting into a nice, dense area of pine trees. This looks nice. It's kind of dark in this area of the woods. This area looks muddy. Yeah, another very undersized pipe. The road's all messed up because the water often comes up and over the road. Often comes up and over. I think I'm gonna stop right here. I wanna go back and take a look at that one. That one looks like it might have a little bit of stuff backed up. I'm sure there'll be a little something taking a walk. I love the dense tree cover. This road doesn't get used very much. Like I said, these roads are usually gated. They're only open for hunting season. And the roads are supposed to be frozen this time of year, but it seems to be a quite warm winter. Where's the water entering? I see water trickling down here. Is it really buried under that stuff? But I also see water entering here. So that might just be seeping through the road or are there two pipes? I don't think there's two pipes, so the road might just be porous. If there is a second pipe, it's buried beneath those boulders. But here we have a pretty substantial culvert. I wouldn't have expected one that big. 18 inch corrugated metal pipe. Let's get in here with the boots. Where is it? What do we got? Is this rock on top of it? Are we even able to open it? Hello. How are you? I'm good. I was going to ask what you were looking for, but I know what you're doing now. <laughs> the roots might be so caked in here that we can't really do anything about it. You saw how big that pipe was, but yeah, this thing's completely caked shut. It's been caked shut so long. The roots from all the trees are just in there. We're not getting that thing open. 
unless I use like an axe and picked at it for like an hour. Let the road crew fix that. Here we go, we're pulling off. Continue down the road a little bit more. Bumpy road. bad road they haven't graded this one in a while and I bet in this dip there's a pipe too but instead of going to look for the pipe you see they made it into a water crossing they dumped a bunch of large gravel the size of baseballs on top of the road there got more mud coming up muddy Right here they dumped a bunch of gravel the size of baseballs once again. Right here the mud is a little slippery. I can feel a little bit of traction loss. Got more mud right here. They poured a whole bunch more gravel so water can cross over the road without installing a pipe. Who knows, there's probably a pipe down there. They just didn't want to dig it up, so they just brought a dump truck down here. Probably when the road was frozen. This road is so muddy it wouldn't hold a dump truck. A lot of mud right here, look at that. Yeah, the last time I came out here, this was so muddy you'd sink down, but it's kind of hard now. You don't really have that worry anymore of sinking down in this road and the rest of the road is going to be pretty dry now I guess it hasn't rained in a little bit typically it would be a lot worse out here all right everyone we finally made it to the triangular grate this is the place where that was severely flooded back in the spring if we take a look at these trees you see the water line the road I'm now on was eight feet underwater and it dislocated the beavers the beavers never move back, and because the beavers never move back, unless there's a storm that brings debris over, the triangular grate will not be clogged again. But you see, something recently brought the water level down. I'm thinking because there was a lot of rain last week, it froze at a high level, and as it dropped, it left all the ice crumpled like that. Let's take a look at the water line on this big tree. You can clearly see where the water was. And as we drive up the hill, you can see a water line here, maybe about four feet. We drive a little bit more, still about four feet or so. You can see the water line on the tree right about here. That flood was pretty big. We keep on driving. This tree, you can see maybe a foot or two, and this is about where the flood ended. This whole area was so underwater back then. All right, everyone, we're on this stretch of road, and someone got into a crash. There's a bunch of lights and plastic parts all over the place. So there's a flood by beavers. A brand new beaver pond that I've never seen here before. Oh, look at that. Look at the antlers on that guy. That guy's got real big antlers. Something's been down there picking it apart, eating it. A deer. And a bunch of beer cans this beaver or this deer was drinking and tried to cross the road so right here we have water looks like a little beaver dam right there yep this area floods when it flows a lot because of that little beaver dam across the road what caught my eye right here is this being flooded oh my gosh these beavers are good they didn't clog the culvert one bit that's so awesome Instead, they built a big horseshoe dam, which is so incredible because they're not really affecting the road. But 
Yeah, Massachusetts doesn't get that cold, so this amount of water won't really cause an effect. If this was further north, the water being that high would be high enough that the ground would freeze down to it, expand and frost heave the road. I don't think that'll happen in Massachusetts. This is something that this beaver dam would not be able to be removed now unless it was done by the state because it's a primary beaver pond, brand new beaver lodge. This was not flooded a couple months ago, brand new. Look at all the material there that they have to keep working with. These poles here are treated, they got creosote on them. So the beavers are never gonna touch that because they're creosote covered. That would take decades for that to rot that down. But I'm sure the power company is not gonna like this and I'm sure the power company will come in here with an excavator and remove this at some point. And it's their property so they don't have to wait until spring although that's the moral thing to do because in the winter it's almost impossible to trap a beaver because they have underwater food reserves but i thought this was kind of cool this is where you used to drive for access to the power lines obviously these power lines they haven't done work or trimming in a while this you can't even recognize it as a road if the gate wasn't here but that's kind of cool look at the beavers did the beaver dam goes right underneath the gate can't even tell that the road is here yet. Yeah, can't even tell. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.